evening guys this is Maya. welcome back to my youtube channel today in this video we are going to learn what is vertical illuminance and we are also going to learn how to accurately calculate vertical illuminance in the dialogues evo let's get started what is vertical illuminance firstly what is illuminance illuminance is the amount of light falling on the surface okay now the definition remains same but since we are focusing on vertical illuminance here the surface where we are calculating our light levels is a vertical surface hence the definition goes like vertical illuminance is the amount of light falling on the vertical surface let me explain you that again in a more simplified way now this is horizontal and this is vertical. Let me annotate it that for you. This is horizontal and this is vertical. On the basis of this itself, we are going to even understand our horizontal and vertical surfaces. Suppose if you have something like this table, your work surface or the work area is the table top and table top is more horizontal surface okay and we will be needing the light over here right for the table now example for the vertical surfaces suppose if you have a bookshelf or board whiteboard or a display board here i need light on this shelves okay and the surface is vertical in the nature this is my surface okay and i need i need good visibility on this surface this is what your vertical illuminance is i hope you understood this one let us consider a sample project in the dialogue so that it will help you analyze more better i have considered a sample project of school for today's tutorial and let us go and understand what are the vertical surfaces we have here and how are we going to perform vertical illuminance in the dialogue let's go to the class one okay now see your first step is to identify if you need to perform any vertical illuminance calculation generally what we do in dialogues we create the 3d model we do the lighting we create a work plan and check the lux calculations now why are we talking specifically about the vertical illuminance for that you have to first study your project identify if there is a requirement for you to perform any vertical illuminance calculation okay let me walk you through that now here we have a classroom and in this classroom this is the vertical surface we have similar to what i explained you here okay this is my vertical surface now second task is give a reasoning whether you have to perform vertical illuminance calculation there or not in this classroom project visibility on this board is very important for us because this is the main object right why it's a main object for obvious reason because this is what the teacher uses to display the information to present the concept visually to the students okay so this is very important for us and we need to make sure that this board has proper visibility okay so we are going to measure what is the lux level we are getting on this board here i haven't placed any different luminaire to illuminate the board i'm using general panel lights for the whole classrooms and uh, we are just going to calculate if this panel lights are enough for me for a good visibility on the board okay what we are going to do is set a view such that your board is properly visible go to the calculation objects draw calculation object select select your first point second point and extend it okay this is your calculation surface it will be highlighted in yellow go to the plan view you can see the surface here in case if it is not properly placed on the board you can move it using this okay then you can name this calculation surface let me name it as board scroll down then you have positioning if you want to change the size of this one after drawing to make it more accurate you can do it manually as well here instead of 2.997 i can give it 3 
and I will give it 1.1. If there is any change in the degree you want to tilt it properly, you can give the rotation here. Okay. Positioning is you can move this as per where the object is placed. You can give the values and move it here too. But uh, instead of going and giving the values here, you can choose the move tool and adjust it here so that it's properly aligned. Right. Then you scroll down, you have this one calculation parameters. Click here, you will see small tools here. And if you click on one, you can see what that tool is for. Okay, see so this is horizontal, this is perpendicular. The one which is selected will appear in dark shade of gray. You will uncheck that one. And here is our vertical illuminance, the fourth tool. I will click here. Okay, after you click this vertical illuminance, this pop up will appear. It will ask you two details. One is height offset, which is at zero now, and next is rotation. Let us understand this both height offset. See now, when the height offset is zero, I have that pointer at the center. Suppose if I give the height offset to be one, the pointer went up, but if I place the pointer so up, it will be wrong because my calculation surface is on the board. So don't edit any height offset. Keep it at zero itself. Next, rotation. This is very important for us to understand. So focus. Now, after you have placed your calculation surface, you can see there is an orange arrow mark pointed on the surface. And uh, for now, if you see it is pointing from backward to here something like this right okay what does it mean let me move this surface so that you understand better this is my calculation surface and if you see that arrow is behind that surface your vertical illuminance will be calculated on that side on the back side but for us we don't have to calculate on the back side because behind this board we have wall there's no point of calculating vertical illuminance there. I need to calculate the vertical illuminance on front of the board. For that, what I will do is in the rotation, now it is zero. I will make it 180 enter. So the change in the arrow, now it is at the front. I will repeat that so you, you can see it again. When I place the calculation surface, it was at zero and the arrow was pointing from behind. Okay. What I did was I changed the rotation. I made it 180. Now it is pointing from the front. Now this is correct because this is where I need to calculate the vertical illuminance in the front of the board. I will place it. I will place this calculation surface on the board here. Clear? Understood? Let's run the calculations. I will run the calculation only to the class and I will run the calculation without objects and furniture. Calculation is completed and you can see the results displayed. This is my vertical illuminance calculations for the board. I'm achieving 234 lux with 0.82 uniformity. I'm achieving good amount of lux and uniformity. In your lighting design handbook, if your project is critical and uh, it has specific illuminance level to be met even on the vertical surface on the lighting code, it will be mentioned how much you have to achieve on the vertical surfaces. Okay. You can click on the surface. If you want to see the illuminance level in the false color, you can click on the false color. You have an option to view it even on the value chart like this. Now you can ask me like Sumaya, so when I'm placing vertical surfaces, why this rotation angle? Let me explain you that with another application in the school project itself. For that, let us go to library. Now, as we discussed, our first step is to identify the vertical surface. So what are my vertical surface here? My vertical surfaces are this book racks, right? These are my vertical surfaces. And second point is I'm going to give a reasoning whether I have to perform vertical illuminance calculation or not. Okay, this is a library and for us having good visibility on this bookshelves is very important because that is what our main task is. 
okay displaying the books is the main task here right now if you see this bookshelf it is a double sided shelf that means i can take the books from this side and i can come to this side and get the books from this side as well okay i need to calculate the vertical illuminance on this side and this side as well but there is no need of drawing to to calculation surface we can calculate on both sides using one calculation surface itself let me show you how now set a view in a way that you are able to see that shelf properly okay go to the calculation objects draw calculation object select the first point second point and draw it okay once this is done you can check if it is properly placed you can name this surface as book shelf 01 okay then in the positioning if you want to make any changes in the size you can make it here like this okay then if there is any slight tilt in the angle you can correct it over here don't make any changes in the positioning because we have placed it accurately then you will click on calculation parameters you will uncheck any other things you will click on only vertical illuminance okay height offset we will not give any height offset here then rotation see now it is at zero if you see it is pointing sidewards okay i don't have to calculate the vertical illuminance sidewards here i only need front side and i need back side right so what i will do i will change the angle now it is zero let me make 90 okay now the arrow is pointing from the backwards here this is my surface and the arrow is pointing from the backwards that means the vertical illuminance will be calculated on this side okay though you can't see that yellow highlight vertical surface but it is actually present that's why you can see this red highlighted portion okay now let us place this one exactly at the center of my bookshelf one part is completed i also need to calculate on the front side because this bookshelf will be operated from both the sides so what i'm going to do is scroll down you can see the plus sign here added height offset will remain same in the angle of rotation it is 90 give it 270 and you see the change in the arrow it is indi indicating that it will be calculated in the front side of the surface this is front side and if you click this one the arrow is pointing from the back side front side and back side you understood the importance of having this rotation this is done now let us run the calculation and check the illuminance level i will run the calculation only for library and without objects and furnitures okay the calculation is completed and you can see i am getting 322 lux with 0.61 uniformity at the front side of the surface at this side okay and the other one is 304 lux with 0.6 uniformity that is on the back side of the surface right i hope you understood this concept let us practice that again these three book racks are in the same positioning so i will not add the calculation surface for everyone if you need you can add but for now I've, i won't be adding instead let us check for this one this is my vertical surface and i need to calculate the vertical illumination here so i'll go to calculation object draw rectangular object select first point second point drag name it book shelf to enter then positioning if you want to change its size you can do it here like this or you can place it accurately as per the points go to the side views and you can adjust it from the side views as well like this if there is slightly tilt then you can give a proper degree here i have drawn my calculation surface 
next is calculation parameters we will select vertical illuminance height offset we will not be making any changes and rotation zero see when it is zero it is pointing back side of the surface but i don't have to calculate the back side of the surface because behind i have the wall i need to calculate my illuminance levels on the front side of this right so in here in the rotation i will make it 180 degree now if you see the arrow is pointing on the surface that means it will be calculating on this side itself okay clear now let's run the calculation and check the results calculation is completed see the vertical illuminance values here i'm getting 480 lux with 0.48 uniformity on this bookshelf get it on value chart if you click this one you will get the value chart rating as well i hope you understood how to get calculation surface for vertical illuminance calculation in the dialogues evo we learned today what is vertical illuminance so this is it guys in this video if you find this video helpful please hit a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and stay tuned to explore more in dialogues with me thank you